Hi everybody, this is Mia. This is Saturday afternoon and I'm pretty bored out of my mind. It's 6.30 p.m. so it's after, gosh, was it three weeks after the solstice? So it's pretty bright. It was raining, thunderstorming a lot of the morning. No, I think the morning, but the afternoon. Um, maybe in part of the morning it's hard to keep track because it's pretty dark in this place. It doesn't appear dark right now because it's the sun's coming through here. There's another window there. Um, I hope you can hear me with this earbud. Um, Everything is really boring because I've been inside and my partner has been asleep and I am bored. I did a meeting at nine, which I had missed for the past three weeks at least, um, three meetings. I think I could have gone to a couple of them because I was awake, but I was just lazy and didn't have tape to put over my phone camera and all this stuff because I didn't want to get up and get dressed, I guess. Um, I'm looking at this adapter over here and I'm thinking about it. Interesting. Anyways. Um, There's a band playing out there, and it's not on the web. Someone on the web, uh, Facebook said, "Oh, I think it got rained out because it's not on the website." But I looked on the website here in this town; it's not on there. And <clears throat> it looks like it's um, not. Looks like I can't see. Actually, I probably c I might be able to see. I don't know. It sounds like there's a band out there playing. They do close the road every Saturday next week is I think it's 10 days of plein air plein air plein air. I can't I don't speak French very well so sorry for the pronunciation um I was thinking a little bit about trying to get work done and having it be too much of two extremes work 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 don't do anything else tiptoe around for 12 hours I mean I've been up the first time I got up at 6 30 first time I got up at 3 30 this morning or play, 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 where people distract you all day and ask you questions and distract you. And like, let's do this, let's do that. Like, I just settled down to my work after being stressed out the last time this happened, like the day before, where I'm sitting there trying to do journaling and looking at my schedule and trying to return phone calls when people aren't making a lot of noise. So it's really unbalanced to be in one extreme or the other and not in the middle of the road. And I do not like this. Um, if it was earlier and not thunderstorming, I should have gone out to the at least walk around the farmer's market or gone to the post office just to get some fresh air and sunshine because I feel like this is driving me crazy. I was looking at um, or thinking about the um, Naked and Afraid and the people that don't get a new partner during the middle of their stay when their other partner leaves and having that mental ability to be alone uh, I think one guy didn't he make like a little statue or something to talk to uh, I was at that movie with Tom Hanks but I cannot even understand like doing the zoom meeting doing a text doing a phone call getting on Facebook it's not cutting it talking to uh, patients or potential patients it's not cutting it for me I'm pretty introverted and extroverted at the same time so I like to have a sense of community when I'm getting ready to to meet up with community and hang out with community I'm overwhelmed and exhausted but then when I don't do that I'm just uh, as much if not more overwhelmed or exhausted so I know um, I used to watch that one guy but he, he had some too many like perverted type things or just real things depending on how you put it in perspective so I didn't I don't want to discuss that person's name on YouTube about being alone in a trailer maybe that's maybe that's part of why they were a little bit <clears throat> strange but if so happens it suddenly stops it's because I don't want to be talking if someone else were to come in the room where I am I got this stack of boxes it's mainly because it's like bottles of water and a couple boxes we didn't recycle before we left the recycling is overflowing and all over the ground it's absolute ridiculousness so these all these boxes um, half of the stack is supposed to be out there among other containers overflowing we have we had to we don't have a parking spot so we have to go and get our vehicle and bring it here and then load it up and there's not a um, parking spot for us here there's other people's parking spots and there's like a narrow road where cars are coming and going it's barely a two lane depending how small or big your car is um just crazy um the people some people throw their recycling and this recycling drive it in like they could very well drive it to the place where you either separate cardboard 
regular mixed paper, glass, aluminum, and then some places have the aluminum can cans, like the um, soda cans, and then what did I miss? Two kinds of glass. I think it's the clear brown slash green. Why do I feel like there's three types? I feel like they do brown and green separately. Um, and green and clear. What did I miss? Plastic. So jugs. Um, there's a place, there's several places for free. You drive up and you drop yourself off, like stuff off like that. And there's at least one where they don't, last I checked, you don't separate it. So you could just dump your container in there as is. I don't even know if they have you dump the glass. I'm going to have to put this down. It's too much. I don't, I don't feel confident in this. Um, so I was thinking about some of the videos. I, like I said, I try to give names to other videos to other people um, on YouTube. Most of these people have a lot of income and a lot of followers and a lot of likes and a lot of comments and you know millions and millions of views versus mine that has just a few views but I like to just do one to others you know the golden rule um make sure I don't drop this some of the videos I watch on preparedness minded um activities prepping shopping um between that and having watched a lot on um reselling online see people shift a lot and they stay current with what they're doing which leaves all the rest of us in the dust pretty much and if you're close behind then you're gonna get your bronze you know metal but if you're like me you're just like oops missed out on an opportunity and I had been you know first second third in line prior to all this you know activity where I let myself kind of fall off the wagon with certain um mainly with reselling and the, the preparedness um my preparedness right now I didn't I was thinking to say one thing but what came to mind was what came towards my tongue faster was organization so organizing what I have decluttering what I have getting rid of the old perhaps especially stuff from 2019 2020 um old medicines old uh, and a lot of this is would be maybe some kind of powder you know freeze-dried fruit powder that I consider that as medicine um, green powders and containers that I ordered and medicines and supplements and um, things like band-aids and actually for my medical business I have medications um, and not all of them can be used in this state for me I actually had tried to set up a couple times with a local midwife to give her a lot of the stuff that was still in date um, that she could use with her license um, but that I, I couldn't use with my license um, because this is not Oregon folks let's, let's be real um, I, I'm struggling even try to I'm already a midwife but I had to go back to school or whatever to be a midwife I'm already a midwife it's like being a doctor and having to go back to school to be a doctor like it's like uh, excuse me why can't I use my credentials that I already have spent the past 20 years getting like I don't know I don't understand I had spent another 20 years another half a million dollars but anyways I just I guess I have to move and adapt and that's that could be where the compass is pointing me towards is move and adapt instead of trying to make it work where it doesn't work it didn't work in Portland and it, didn't, it hasn't worked in Easton and it's really concerning for me um, the other thing is the finances doing the billing I did a billing I told myself hey your keyboard this cheap Walmart keyboard is sticky be careful what you type and I realized once in a while my regular computer keyboard is sticky and I noticed sometimes that I just type things too fast and have my fingers in the wrong place or have them two places at once so I went to submit one of the bills and I submitted it and as soon as I looked at the receipt it had the date range as a month apart instead of the same day so I went to go um, fix it and I don't know why I didn't print that first page that has the confirmation number I don't know any way to get that information anything that I say that's a confirmation number I don't see any record of it in availability that I'm supposed to be required to use by the insurance companies to do my claims and eligibility and it's just 
I've sent in claims multiple times and not got a penny or until I sent it multiple times and not having any record, not having anything pending, rejected. It's and another um, insurance company. I went through their site, I think, to go do a claim and I was looking for the check for the past three months and it's not in the mailbox. It's not anywhere. I even got a phone call to verify my address and it's still not in there. So I'm just like, you know, occasionally I start doing more billing for the same companies and they'll start um, kind of doing it on their end like a batch type waiting until I send more than one and then ship them or maybe it's maybe it's not. Um, usually it should take like a week to be processed and then another week to, if they had to send the check. So I haven't done the checks online. Um, I had asked a question for my clinic today on the Facebook group to some colleagues and the answer they gave me was complete opposite of how my moral values are and I'm pretty much jaw dropping right now um, and just to keep it really vague there's a lot of people that can practice the medicine that I practice and do stuff across state lines some people will tell you oh I do this this and this and then you'll see some post that says oh I hired a lawyer to make sure that I do this and that my paperwork states this and that I only talk about this and I don't make a diagnosis and you know oh it's like you're telling people oh just practice across state lines and then you're like oh but I really don't do that I'm more doing consultations and counseling or sorry um coaching and health coaching and I was like okay so you have to be careful when people say oh I just do that all the time and I I told you that happened with me and everyone's like oh don't worry about it don't worry about it. we all did this I did this this was making it easy when I got to the state um, with my other license and I don't even know why I didn't get a reciprocal license but anyways I ended up um, having where somebody told me oh they said oh I got an out of the state license and I practice here until I got established and got my license here. It's like that you, if you're waiting that long for your license, so I just do what I did. I was like, I'm not going to do that. Especially if it wasn't like even COVID yet, where there's it's right right around COVID, but right before where they had some of the reciprocal licenses, some of the temporary telehealth licenses are different out of state things. If you already were established somewhere else and you could just sign up for a temporary, but it that stuff wasn't in effect. And I if I had listened to her, I would have been for my career and this person just straight up said it that way it's like oh don't worry about it just they just take their state license for somewhere else and then I find out three four years later that what they didn't mention was the state was not a licensed state when they did that so there's people there's a confusion there with people thinking oh I have an out-of-state license I'm gonna practice here there was no licensing so you're not breaking the law anyone in any anyone in their brother could say that they're this this uh, medical provider back then now you can't use that term other things that's one thing you know you people go up against me trying to say I do certain things like what if I do nutrition not nutrition but diet what if I do exercise what if I do um, uh, naturopathic manipulation naturopathic body work which would be like massage you know electric stim sauna so it was someone said oh you're practicing massage without a license well I have a license to put my hands on people and it says it in the board of physicians that I can do that with my license in my hands <laughs> like I'm not practicing anything without a license I'm practicing my medicine that happens to have some overlap with yours you know so it's so you really have to look at the fine print yourself but I found out that this person had done that practicing without health license when there was no licensure and they failed to mention that there was no licensure or maybe that maybe that wasn't true maybe they were just playing around trying to not pay the money um, it was definitely been uh, 2014 when things changed so always look at the fine print if you're like me and you contact these boards and you ask for more information and they say I don't know what you're talking about I said but it's right on your website oh I don't understand I don't know what it, I don't see it my one colleague told me get everything in writing send an email out they'll say I don't know what you're talking about and they just like let it hang you're like what it's right on your website and I copy and paste told you where it is what you know this statute this 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 number blah 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 
I don't understand why you guys have the job. You answer emails. You answer things. There's some people in the world that don't read and write. Or don't read and write in English. But I feel like if it's your job to answer questions about your board and the rules and regulations, clarifying things, I feel like if you see that I caught me and paste from your website and it, it told you where it is, I feel like if you don't understand that, it's not up to me to say your job criteria requires you to memorize or know, be familiar with your website. But if it comes from your website and you don't know, don't gaslight me and make me feel like I'm tripping. Just find somebody in your workplace and ask them so that somebody could answer this stupid question, right? Um, the next thing is going back to the preparedness minded. Um, you can think of this, uh, I'm going to say like three, four, five, six, seven years ago, a few years ago when um, Doomsday Preppers came out, people were doing this thing where they were showing these extremes again going back to extremes of people getting underground bunkers and um, building them with uh, it's called train cars um, with containers uh, that's how it's creepy it's like what is the weight of the dirt on top like anyways putting cans all over the from here to their bug out location and all this stuff cash caches what do you do when there's not a lot of that going on. There's still a lot of that. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, we're in the doom and gloom right now. It's financial things. And all these people are ready. All these people have their homes. They have their water supply. They have their clothes for the next 10 years for every one of their family members and their animals. They got their extra cars, their extra shoes, their money stash. They got their YouTube channel so they don't have to work any other job. <laughs> it's like, wow. No, I was too busy trying to collect, you know, discounted, barely working solar chargers when I should have been working on getting out of debt and making income because it's not anarchy. It's not take your bug out bag and your vehicle with your extra fuel and find yourself either at your own um, land or at a, you know, public forest where you're going to like hide out, you know. It's not like that. Just like with COVID, we had electricity, we had, people had funding, people had um, their internet, you know, schools were giving out computers in some places. So it's, it wasn't as, you know, crazy. People were ordering food with food stamps even and all that stuff. Um, you know, everybody got the benefits of that, which is sad, including for my, myself and my family. Really sad, actually. Um, wow. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> like, the disparity. Someone in Portland got busted for taking a lot of COVID PPP loans that they use as, uh, as grants. Because um, I got denied all the PPP loans or the SBA loans, and they still charged me $1,000. They, they were supposed to give 10000 per employee, and they were supposed to um, make that a grant if you got... Um, denied and I got denied and then there's I didn't get the 10,000 and I saw that one guy I'm sorry I forget his name the guy in California I'm trying to think of his I haven't watched his channel in a while but he was talking about making sure you speak up and write letters and say hey you know you guys said you're giving this amount of money or not and this and that and the other and I've tried the hardest to get a hold of people and to call them and figure out well, you guys said you denied it. Like, A, where's the 10000 You gave me 1000 Where's the other nine? And B, because I use it for pay paycheck, our eligible expenses supposed to be uh, written off. I guess that's the PPP loan. That's different than the SBA uh, disaster funding. So, the, I guess, yeah, that's two different things. So, I got about $100 in PPP loan. It might have been $129 or something guys so somebody got busted getting what did they get tens of thousands I don't know if they got millions they got a lot of money I think it was 300 something thousand and they had uh, fraudulent stuff and they also had some stuff that had to do with funding for homeless 
homelessness uh, things to pass out to homeless. It just I don't remember what it was. I don't remember who it was, but it was somebody. Um, I, I know this happened. People had received letters and stuff for their taxes about somebody had uh, done unemployment uh, unemployment benefits for your business and all these different things that happen and it's so sad because it's like when I try to go out and legitimately say hey this is what my tax return said this and this and this like oh we're, we're not going to really pay attention to to that we're just going to make you I was like but this times this times what is it five or whatever should be a different number shouldn't be dozens of dollars I said you know what just do what you can on your part and keep record of everything, uh, which I fell that my billing thing to do to save that first page. Um, so probably have to call them and um, let them know that those are the same claims with different uh, adjusted dates. Um, so there's got to be videos still about people turning their vehicles into diesel that runs um, old restaurant grease and people safely putting cabins in their woods with wood stoves um, to safely figure out how to connect up a solar I call it solar systems um, to run a refrigerator or use propane or all these different things I still have that in my mind but it's like wanting something fresh wanting something new so that's why I'm talking about it today because a lot is news without adequate sources that I, I see the sky is falling type scenarios the desensitization that i've received um since this thing in russia and all the issues with china started i don't want to be desensitized i don't want to have my guard down um there's political and uh, issues right outside my door that i'm dealing with people's hatred and People threatening me, a uh, homeless man threw his coffee down at me and cussed me out and called me all kinds of names. Uh, I should have called the police, but I was sitting outside a restaurant with a family member who was eating food from that restaurant when this happened. And when you're in that, uh, you know, a sidewalk eating, it shouldn't be like that. I mean, it's not like they have armed guards and big fences and you can't enter unless you're a paying customer thing, but it's really like, wow. You go somewhere where you're comfortable, where you've been since 2001, and that guy would potentially, if I was a white woman or a white man, I don't think it would have gone down like that. They were yelling at me saying demanding that I give them money for socks I don't have any money and I look at my own socks and I have several holes in both socks <laughs> and I'm like man I need to get it together and get my socks taken care of because I'm getting robbed from my job from my customers directly from my patients and insurance companies when they don't pay I even have stuff approved and they say but we didn't pay we didn't write your check you approve your claim your bill but we didn't write your check so that's the crisis I'm in now when you guys have if you if you guys if you all have like I have where you watch a regular TV show movie or a video or even think about someone else's life and there's all this I just call it pomp and certain circumstance it, nice hair you like their body style and body type you love their house their yard their garden oh they have kittens and puppies and kids and husbands and wives and this and this and this nice clean shiny car professional job pocket foot I, I said my heart was bigger than my pocketbook because I give too much more without receiving my pay from my career and that's a problem for me God help me I don't think God made me a wise didn't make humans able to use their wisdom to know the difference between being ripped off and being on the road homelessness versus use your wisdom and get you a collection agent and get your money <laughs> because this is the same people are just gonna I mean 
between the patient's line, the collies being dishonest and all that, it's just, whoo. It's just be true to your own, thine own self. To thine own self be true. So looking at other people's lives um, vicariously, they use the right word, and having the, how do you say, like a drug, being out of your own reality. A few years ago when I was single, I felt like I would think about these love stories and these cute movies and still the family movies if I watched them alone reruns when my kids were still here um, still with me in the house in Portland and even though they were chains and stuff and shutting the doors and shutting the doors while I'm talking and it's just like hurt my feelings so I go on vacation try to go to the beach I don't want to go to the beach I don't want to go in the water they don't want to go out I just want to play their devices I was so boring <laughs> for me I said we came here so we can go walk in the sand so we can go you know, I got stray pit bulls coming after me and rude crabs coming up out of the sand after dark and we're just trying to get a kitchen out so I can cook and clean the whole time for my kids while I play other devices. Like, we see adults going to a party, chit-chatting, adults, you know, maybe they put a movie on for the kids, order pizza, like, let the adults go, you know, walk up and down the beach and start a bonfire and have the kids come join you with some s'mores. You know, and it's a group of people. It's a group of people that you have your, um, colleagues or people in your um, age group or um, even if it, if you had like parents or something like to be with somebody it has a similar interest I should say um, partners and your sister or friends whoever and even if your kids have similar interests they like doing it building a bonfire and instead of just being on device but it is what it is and those years are done and I can't go back in time and I can't change the way the family behaves um, the other thing is doing that where it kind of, for me, I like check out, I watch these videos and then I look at my life and I look in the mirror and I look at my fat waistline and I look at my empty paycheck and I, my heart is sw swollen with love and compassion for everybody that turned into swollen from being hurt and damaged and stepped on from everybody and not everybody, but a lot of people. And so that becomes like a whole nother issue that as I bring up over and over again about the people on Everest who are in the death zone or the other mountains and they fall down or they oxygen runs out prematurely and they're laying on the ground alive and people just summit right past them go right back down no one checks them no one offers them hey man can I help you up no here have a breath in my oxygen nothing just leave them for dead And at this point, even the Sherpas are trying to keep themselves alive and their own clients alive, alive and their own cerebral edema and pulmonary edema starting and all this stuff with the pressure, the oxygen weirdness. And I've been hearing different um, different science around that too. They're saying, oh no, the oxygen levels are the same up there. It's just the pressure is different. Because um, it's like if you take a balloon down at sea level, I don't know if it matters if it's helium. I guess if you take a helium balloon, it's going to be that size of a balloon, a regular size, like a little bigger than my head. I have a big head. so the size of my head. If you go up and up and up, it gets bigger and bigger. It's going to explode because the pressure is less. So it's allowing it to expand and it finally pops because the pressure of sea level is holding it in so many thousand what pounds per square inch or whatever the same weight that we have. I wonder why we're old and achy. You've got thousands of pounds of pressure on you all day, every day. Maybe a little less if you live up in the Himalayas. But I want to look more into that because we can look at something as a rule or a law and everybody says it. Not everybody, but a lot of people, they start just copying each other. I call it the insult to the parrot theory. You hear one person or two people and then they hear it. And then a bunch of people and thousands of people start copying the same misinformation. I've seen it in my school. And then 10 years, I'm like, no, that's not correct. I read the real book and took other books and backed up at least what the current science is. Y'all are opposite. And then 10 years later, you hear the same people. Oh, I just saw this report on this new discovery that, you know, the most of the blood, because, you know, there are veins that come out of 
the lungs that are oxygenated. But anyway, it's a different story. For the most part, veins will go back towards the heart, deoxygenated. Wait, did you know? I just read this new article on this new finding that, you know, the van venous blood is deoxygenated. Oh my God. So, like, you all got it backwards 20 years ago because you heard from someone or you fell asleep while you were writing your notes and wrote the wrong thing. Like, so just watch your own, you know, get your own information. I was a lover of books and studying, and the, these books really are heavy. They made this Merck manual too big. I should have listened. Someone says, too big to carry. I laughed, and I picked it up. Now I put it on the floor. I don't want to sit with that in my lap. I don't have a table to read it on. It's so big that you can't even see in the margins. It's ridiculous. And then I find out this book is free online. Like, you idiot. Like, it's free online. You should have just read it. If you want to be crazy, get a big external hard drive and download it somewhere. In case the grid goes down, you know. But living vicariously through other people and having somebody recently saying, I don't want to watch videos of people enjoying their lives and living their lives. They say, I want to be the one making the videos. And I totally face palm, double face palm myself. <gasps> and you say, hey, you look at your life. You're unique. All these people are unique. And the reason you watch them, because you're being inspired. And they have similar goals that, goals that you have. It's just because they were had to look good. And they were able to edit their videos and put music in and put intros in. And keep a schedule. And not be so scattered, brain, untreated ADHD. Some, well, many, most of my life, un, I've been diagnosed for less than a year. But knowing that I had that my whole life struggling 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 with everything with that with the PTSD and the severe depression untreated all that it's so crazy because if you watch channel A and they're doing gardening in their backyard and they're keeping the deer from eating everything and they're growing all the things you like just because they have their own land and their own garden and their own fence and their own ability to pay for the plant starts and the seeds and the dirt and everything and the nice refrigerator to store everything in nice big clean working that doesn't mean that you have to stop watching the channel like I want to stop watching the channel and make my own videos about it I don't have a video camera but I I also have been getting really envious and jealous and I do mention especially lately the leave everything in wonder and I know they've had some issues with the childbirth complications with the husband having the strokes and literally having to be revived by his wife and the um, 911 operators. And they, okay, spoiler, they were looking for land in Sicily and they got it. And it, they did reveal that they had been looking and ready to get in their van and go look at land and go on a three months vacation. I guess during the uh, winter holidays, before he got sick i think it was the night before he got uh, sick and then in the hospital for like a month with a young baby and a wife during COVID, that could only see the wife for like an hour a day at the hospital so they got they got a lot of favor with who they are they say beautiful people but their look and everything is what people consider beautiful and i cried at their last video because i watched them do everything that they want and see their goals and their dreams come true and I felt sick to my stomach of what was wrong with me but if I know that I'm slow and that I know that I have kids already I already had got married divorced with a partner we have a roof over our heads we have traveled and done adventures we have done a little bit of boating here and there we have done a little bit of hiking here and there I had my own injuries and health issues and you know, they had gone to the U.S. They start in the U.S. or Canada with only a few hundred dollars to their name. And they made a good video. And they are rewarded for their good deeds and their good looks. And they have a youth that I don't have. So I have to be, say, you don't have to watch their channel. If, it's, if you're going to cry, you're not crying tears of joy. Maybe 1%. Usually it was tears of joy because I was so happy. They remodeled their house. But the reason that... I continue to watch the video or I plan on continuing to watch the, the videos because many of their lights could have been out between the complications of birth with for the mother for the baby and for the father many of them could have been no longer with us on this realm 
So they're trying to say live. Follow your dreams. Don't wait another day. Do what you can. It looks so easy when you feel like someone has privilege and told them and funds to do their dreams. But I've been told by African American man when I was a doctor, but I was doing food demos in the grocery store for, was it $13 an hour? Which was higher than a minimum wage at the time. I said, yeah, I wish I could go to Europe. He said, oh, I've been to like 13 countries or 20 countries. It, he goes, don't just wish it, plan the trip. Just start planning your trip to travel. I said, I just don't have the money. He's, and I never planned a trip. And I never found anyone. I was trying to go to Canada. I never found anyone to go with me. My family members wouldn't get their passports renewed. I work for myself. I could do a hardcore one month of catch up with my business and call every other provider in the state that has the same title as me or not a different title and I could say hey you need to cover me for two months because I'm going to go see my kids for the holidays um, I'm taking a whole, fingers crossed safe flight to over the Atlantic during the middle winter or yeah the Atlantic to Europe and watch all the videos and go to AAA and get all the safety tips about how I can keep my passports and stuff secure and my funds and my do they still use traveler's checks and all that stuff there's nothing stopping me just like my day there's nothing stopping me from going out to take my chair to go sit and watch this band by myself so to end I would like to do more oh I'm so sorry another youtuber that was making this fake mozzarella cheese I think out of oats and What is that stuff that gets psyllium husk? Stuff that gets jelly like um, how flax seeds. So I got some flax seeds, crackers, I got some mushrooms. I've got like one little slice of zucchini, super spicy with no salt. The Bragg's um, nutritional yeast is pretty much um, very similar to MSG so that's going to be cut out the liquid aminos is eventually is going to be cut out and then the salt I don't know how I'm going to do it um, so just using my spices I do have a little bit of seaweed that stuff could get hard and bite you can bite down hard um, celery salt is kind of used like a nitrate so just using some spices I keep using the cold pressed oils for now um, fresh garlic and onions um, I don't have any seeds for mint or chive or basil or oregano, which I would like those handful of uh, herbs for the indoor um, windowsill garden. Um, so that that's what my reality is right now. And I am inspired by you all, your interests, your individuality, and the people that I, you know, call the influencers or content creators the people that get have a professional job doing that so to end talking about professions I'm going to go back and close up one of my charts I'm going to go back and check a little bit of some billing stuff for this week uh, insurance stuff I need for some um, new patients and then I'm going to get the um, what's the other thing I need to enjoy my life is what I need I feel I'm about to go grab my chair and get out there um, I got a little bit of laundry I need to actually do my own laundry I had another thing on the list but just make the dreams come true you know I when I fell down the stairs after a few years after having that automobile accident and trying to get back into shape from the automobile accident in med school really messed up my um, body um, just not getting the exercise that I preferred so 